morning, I'm here with Dell Droll. I'm Shane Plymel, and we're at the, actually at the Shannon Pediatrics Clinic. This building was built back around 1997, and uh, it's around 23,000 square feet. So we came in this last year and did a remodel. Uh, we totally redid the lobbies. We uh, redid the registration. And then in the exam rooms and the offices, we kind of gave it a facelift, uh, new carpet, new flooring and everything. The area in the front of the building um, it has kites in a tree theme. When you walk in, you see a lot of primary co colors, a, a lot of beautiful artwork, trying to uh, create an environment that's very appealing to our youngest patients as well as their parents. I'm actually here with Virginia. Uh, she's one of our Shannon board members. Virginia, tell us a little bit about the aquarium because um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of fish, and it's, it's very active. So tell us a little bit about it. This aquarium has uh, is, is four television screens and two computers. There are interactive points so the kids can um, uh, punch buttons and cause the Taj Mahal to rise, open a treasure chest, that's a real favorite, you know, to see the inside of the treasure chest. But these fish are actual uh, recognizable species. So we're, we're teaching a little bit about the fish and how they move in the water. Each fish is individually programmed. It's, it's amazing. Hello, I'm here with Julie, and Julie actually taught art for almost 20 years, or right at yes. 20 years in uh, the public schools, and now she's been uh, working with Virginia and helping us do something with local artists in a lot of our different clinics. So tell us a little bit about what y'all have done here. Well, it's been a great opportunity. I have a nonprofit called Art in Uncommon Places, and we were fortunate that Virginia included us in this. How did y'all choose some of this artwork? Because it's a little bit, it had to be more geared towards kids. Looked for color and scale and subject matter to go in each site. I'm very happy that it's very a great variety and a great representation of the art community. I'm here with Kay, and one of the most uh, um, scariest parts about coming to a physician's office, uh, especially for a child or youngest patient, is getting their blood drawn. And how, what do you do to kind of put me at ease, or put the child at ease? Well, we have lots of fun things. Um, first of all, we have little distraction toys. This is called Imla Cream, and you put it on the arm here. You put a little patch on, and then they'll sit out in the lobby for about 30 minutes for it to take full effect, and it's lidocaine in it and it just uh, numbs the area. We have this very cool thing called the Buzzy device. You put Buzzy between the brain and the pain, and Buzzy stimulates the nerves, and that's all your brain is thinking about is this stimulation here, not what's going on here. We have these exceptional kiddos that come in a lot. We make them our Shannon superheroes. So they do a really good job, especially the chronically ill children who come in a lot. We'll give this to them whenever they do their uh, really great job, and then they can wear it back on their next visit. Have I been good enough to get anything for my visit? I mean, I feel like I've been a good patient. I have this for you. And one of the great things that we've added is pediatrics urgent care, which was, which was a much needed service. We help see kids when they can't get in to see their pediatricians when they're sick, or if they have an urgent need and they're just not able to get in. Just speaking from a parent standpoint, you know, it always seems like the kids get sick kind of, you know, on a Friday and it's hard to get them in. And so you don't need an appointment. You just need to um, call to see what time to come. Yeah, we're here Monday through Friday. Um, we do same day call ahead, so we'll give you an appointment time when you call that day. If um, they weren't able to get into their pediatrician and not able to get into you, sometimes they would end up having to go to um, emergency emergency room. So absolutely, which we would love to avoid at all costs. <laughs> I've actually been to all of these, uh, most of these exam rooms, and I really love what you've done with yours. This one's even a little bit um, cooler than some of the other ones I've seen. But some um, amazing job. I don't know if you had a, a little input into this. Oh, but, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. My nurses, Katie and Taz and I, we, we made it a big, fun project, and it was, it was really fun. I'm here with Hope, and Hope's been with CMN uh, for five years, and they've been a big supporter of uh, this remodel of the uh, Shan Clinic Pediatrics Clinic. So tell us a little bit about CMN and what they've done with this clinic. Absolutely. So Children's Miracle Network is, we're actually one of 170 hospitals that raise money locally for children's hospitals. We raise money for therapy programs, equipment, and then also nurse education training and things like that. Um, and our primary goal is to keep kids here for their treatment, but then also our secondary goal is really to make sure that they're comfortable and happy when they're here, which is what we've done with this pediatric clinic. Every dollar that's raised through CMN actually goes to um, the equipment 
in education and training. None of it, um, we don't, there's no administrative cost to it or anything like that. We're so excited about this and we're excited uh, for our patients and their families and we really appreciate y'all coming along and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.